Yo guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can officially auto grind in Greenville. Now this has been out for a while, but I'm going to be making a video for you guys that's completely simple and overall pretty good working that works well. This this uh way uh got me a lot of money. I have uh, about two million dollars already, and I have about six to seven million dollars worth of car. I have the five million dollar Tesla, so that shows you it does really work. Now, before this video starts, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and turn post notifications on. I am doing a huge giveaway at 1,000 subscribers. You guys don't want to miss it out. The link, the video, the video explaining it will be in the description below. Definitely go check it out, guys. Y you don't want to miss out on this. Just plain and simple. You don't want to miss out on it. All right. Without without any further ado, let me explain to you. So first, I would highly recommend any car that is all-wheel drive. Now, if you're curious to see what a car is all-wheel drive, all you need to go to, all you need to do is go to the dealership and then choose out a car. Then you're gonna go, you're gonna see a tab called Specs right under your colors. You click on that and it will show you all-wheel drive or real-wheel drive. It will say AWD or RWD. If it's RWD, you might want to go for something different. Go for an all-wheel drive. Mostly SUVs and pickup trucks have all-wheel drive, but you might see some sedans with uh, all-wheel drive. Now, for this demonstration purposes, I'm going to be using the Tesla Model X, an electric car, which is highly recommended first up if you have the electric pass. If you don't have the electric pass, then there is a second option for you. You can get a pickup truck. Now, for this demonstration purposes, I'm going to be using a Ford pickup truck. Now, first, you're going to want to get into your car, and you're going to want to come here to the airport. Now, the airport has so much space, you're less likely to end up hitting someone or another object. Now, with this, first, you're going to want to download an auto clicker. I'm using OP Auto Clicker because it's pretty simple, and it works pretty well for me. And then you can set your own hotkeys and all that. Now, first, you're going to want to set your cruise control to 85 miles an hour. If you do any more than that, it might not work, just of how the system is and how Greenville has their system as, and all the developing and how it is. So if you go under 85 miles an hour, you're more likely to not have any problems. Now, first, you're going to have cruise control on, then you're just going to let that go. You're just going to ignore that. Now, I want you to hit A or D on your keyboard to turn. You go one direction, you can choose which direction, it really doesn't matter. Then you're going to hold that. Then, at the same time, while holding the turning button, I want you to hit escape. Escape will allow it to lock in, just like that. Now, you're probably thinking this is it, but it's not it, because after 20 minutes, if you leave your computer or your mobile device, it's just going to leave it. And it's it, and it's gonna detect that you've been AFK. So the next option is to open up your auto clicker. And I would recommend not changing any of this, just because if you change it, it's not gonna work. Now I have my keys as this. You can change your hotkeys to anything really. It doesn't matter. It can be uh, delete. It can be escape. It can be control. It can be shift. It can be anything really. Now I'm gonna for my hotkeys. I have shift plus backspace so i have to sh hit shift and backspace at the same time you guys can have it at whatever way you want it's really simple so i'm going to hit shift backspace and then there we go if we go over here it's auto clicking as you guys can hear you hear no clicks from my mouse whatsoever it's pretty simple and that's about it i hope this helped you guys in any way shape or form uh and for now i'm going to show you guys how it works with the ford f-150 because i feel that That'll help a lot. Now, if we get our Ford F-150 out, and again, most pickup trucks will work for you. It really just depends on your selection. Now, we got to get some speed in here. So, there we go. Gather some speed. Alright, there we go. So, I have cruise control now on now, so now I'm holding A on my keyboard to turn, hitting escape, there I'm locked in. Now I'm going to do shift backspace, my auto clicker is enabled, and then there, that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's pr it's pretty simple. Now every few hours, you might want to check in on it because sometimes what will happen, the car will spin out. It, it will happen sometimes, but you'll still be getting money from the fact that you have a job, 
which I would make sure definitely have any job at all. It doesn't matter which job because all the jobs give you the same amount of money. It really doesn't matter, but if you have a job, you'll make much more money because there's two ways you can make money from this. You make $650 each minute, and then you make money for how long you've driven. There is really no specific pattern. It's just how the game is, and we really have no uh, understanding of it, but that's fine. Uh, but yeah, you're pretty much set here. Uh, and definitely always keep on checking in after a few hours to fill it up with gas with this new system The gas does go out pretty quick So I would definitely after a few hours just come check in on it if you're awake uh, Most people do this at nighttime when they're sleeping, but yeah uh, that's going to be it of, the, of this video. Again, guys, make sure you guys go check out my uh, giveaway. It's, 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 just go check it out. Just go check it out. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.